Uh, hello everyone, this is a good captain. Welcome to another video in my LP of campaign series Westfront. This is the Link campaign game titled Operation Sea Lion. Mission number 11. The Battle of Biggin Hill, part 1. So I'll read the historical and review the turn length and then we'll get into the scenario analysis. So, D plus 7. Biggin Hill, 26.5 kilometers southeast of London. After successfully countering the ambush near Otford, our f ambush, our forces have s come to the next major hurdle, Biggin Hill. Your battalion, with elements of the 2nd Battalion and armor support from 18th Panzer Regiment, has been tasked with capturing both the city of Biggin Hill and the aerodrome to the north. Resistance is not expected to be heavy, although... There have been reports of enemy armor in the area. Visibility is 10 due to light rain. Turn length is 18. But the light rain seems to not have kept the Luftwaffe down. We have quite a few. We have uh, four uh, air missions. Not to get ahead of ourselves, but two JU-87s and two HS-123As. So if the Luftwaffe is up, we, you know, what's left of the RAF might make its appearance, so. All right. Yeah, so there's, this is, um, well, let's just go through the motions, but this is, I'm kind of excited to do this battle, so. To have the four key um, elevation, significant elevation change as well. We have very little elevation change. There's just really, I think there's four elevation changes from the, the lowest point to the highest point on this map back to the lowest, lower point. So really there isn't it's the elevation change is almost insignificant here in a strategic sense in a tactical or more local sense it will it'll be important of course but that's not something i think worth discussing at at this level so very gentle rolling um english countryside you know in terms of the elevation and the terrain Lots of woods and fields dotted with villages, road networks, dirt and paved. There's, <laughs> it's weird to say this too, but there's not any major terrain features. So you got this, you know, Biggin Hill, the, vil the town or village or city, whatever you want to call it, of Biggin Hill. But, you know, most of this can be... spotted out from above so there's really nothing too in, too, too crazy uh, and the objectives seven of them totaling I think 350 100 200 350 yeah and the victory needs to be 750. So we need to inflict 400 damage on the British and seize all the objectives. And the comparative analysis that I started doing last scenario, where we got a good, we got a rough estimate finally in the last scenario where, you know, where, how much damage did we do to the enemy? Um, 400 damage to the British is probably, you know, within the realm of reasonable. But we need to capture all the objectives to do that. And we need to, you know, maintain our, you know, the, I'll continue to play the way I play as carefully as I can to attain that. So, um, before I leave the map overview, though, one thing that I was going to point out it I didn't know what was how to make this significant or point out the significance of this but 
I actually like this. Actually, I'll just take a second step outside of this analysis to go over what I like about this scenario. This is sort of like a set piece battle. There's no exit obje objectives. There's no um, nothing really outlandish or crazy. We don't have a time crunch. All the objectives are sort of they sort of make sense. They're all kind of grouped up here um, along a front uh, the front of the relevant playing area, about the same distance away. There's enough time, 18 turns. Uh, I think the clo the 100 point objective is 14 spaces away. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. No, 12 spaces away. So we could move at one hex speed, and you know get there with one third of our time left. So this is you know it looks good for time, depending on mines and roadblocks, of course, but. As long as we're progressing at one to two hexes per turn, which is totally re reasonable, uh, we should be able to get all the objectives or have a chance at getting them. Um, so no need to rush. And we don't start out inside of the enemy. And the enemy doesn't start out inside of us. Uh, I mean, nothing. Look, we're in the, down in this little uh, depression here. They can't see us here. They can't see us here. I, I actually like this. You know, this. This is cool. I I like to make contact with the enemy. And that's my favorite kind of scenario. And you know, there's no surprises. There's nothing that you can't blame yourself for um, that might happen. So very comfortable with this. this. Air support. We already went through that, so we're going to the support side now. Air support. We saw those four fire uh, four air missions. Um, artillery units available. Uh, we, have our, we have two 150s available off board now instead of three. That's fine. Uh, we have three mountain guns available to us, and they sent us an extra mortar up here. And in the in the way of support, we do have quite a, a few, excuse me, supporting units. We have our reliable motorcycle platoons here down south, where all my core units are located. Seriously, the entire, all my core units are located on the south side. They're also supported by two platoon of Panzer 4D and a Panzer, or, uh, one group of armored cars, PSW 231. I have some 88s back here. Uh, some of these units are fixed. The mountain guns are fixed. The AA guns are fixed, but they'll be released, I think, on turn 8. 13, I was wrong, it's 13. Uh, to the north are these, are all my units on loan, supported by 88s, and some Panzer 35Ts, and some Panzer 2Fs, so a weak, a weak northern flank, to be sure, uh, or a weaker northern flank, but that's okay, that, you know, obviously that everyone's going to move well, not to get too much into the victory yet. We'll get into the strategy in a moment, but that's the artillery and the supporting units on loan to us. Uh, we have seven smokes. Oh, thank you. And so we, mortars are going to be extremely important, like where we are and how close we are to the front. We'll want to keep those. Our mortar game needs to be on point. We need to keep those close. Um, okay. So, uh, victory, what is the plan? How will we attack? Well, the plan is, for the first turn, we need information. We have no, we are in terrible positions for spotting out what is in front of us, and there are some good ones to our front, so spread out and get in both of these hexes here down in the south. Um, get here, into this woods here. Uh, anyway, the, 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 uh, we need information. We're not going to be making any grand movements yet. We're moving anywhere as fast as we can without moving to 
some good spots up here. Here, yeah, this, so the northern side at least has a great, a better, yeah, look at that. We can basically paint the whole four hex, um, next four hexes after we move one space, two spaces. So, yeah, um, the first whole turn is going to be spent, spent uh, moving units into areas of cover and concealment from which they can observe the next four to five to six hexes into the enemy, uh, potential enemy ground, and seeing what they can see. Uh, so yeah, otherwise there is no plan other than a, basically a broad front attack. Everyone will move forward. Everyone will move forward. The north side, these units on loan to us will, will hit Biggin Hill Airfield and seize it. To the center and to the south, our units, supported by the motorcycle platoon, um, company I should say and the Panzer 4Ds we'll just clear out Biggin Hill and Tatsfield and Apperfield anyway you get my point so that's it we went over time relative to the objectives so that's it yeah this this should be I'm really excited to do this this is I feel very comfortable at least <laughs> at the out, outset here so without further ado, um, we're going to move some units first. Uh, I'm going to start with the north side since that looked easiest. Yeah, I want to move somebody here. If we can't, we're going to double time. Start with the weaker unit. Okay, it's not a machine. Hmm. Okay. Some Damler armored cars and a rifle. Is that a rifle platoon? A little pause. Let me make sure. I. That's a rifle platoon, right? Just a second. Uh, no, it's a scout platoon. So, compare it to a rifle platoon, it's uh, not as much of a threat. However, it is more of a threat to armor units sent adjacent to it, which is good to know. And it, but they still, <laughs> I'm kind of surprised they caught the, they got him disrupted in that woods hex there. Also surprised, did they not see this other guy? No, they saw everybody. Oh, they're out of range for these two, but they didn't shoot this guy. Okay. That is okay. So here's our engineer. We'll move him last. Actually, I'd really like to get someone in this hex. Yeah. So we'll double time the engineer. Oh no, he can't make it. So we'll use the two Fs. Machine gun will go here, but first we'll move a rifle platoon. A little, little worried about what might be in single street here. Yeah, let's move. Yeah, let's move the MGs. Okay, let's move a parachute 
40 platoon adjacent. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, not that aggressive. We don't want to be that aggressive. So let's move here. Okay. Let's move one more space since we double timed him. Might as well use it. That's scared. Turn the volume down. Boy, boy, that just stirred up a horn. That already is. Must be my microphone. Okay. <clears throat> Is that some home guard, another scout platoon, a rifle platoon? Okay. Oh, yeah, now I will. I'm going to move this guy in. Dang. Didn't think he'd be there, but we got lucky. If these were my units, I wouldn't have done that. I'll just throw that out there right now. I definitely would not have done that. Um, and now, since the die is cast, we'll push... And reinforce them where we can. Yeah, let's get that. So we kind of got one in the center, one towards. Yeah, uh, let's push. Yeah, so this Parachute 40. Sort of the reserve company. Ah, uh, the engineers. Here. We double timed him. Might as well take advantage of it. Yeah, we'll be okay there. Uh, hmm. South or north? South looks like it's going to need more help than the north side, so I think we'll start committing the reserve towards the south. Send more tanks down there as well. deal with in my in my book these are to deal with whatever that meant by armor is in the area let's check his range um, hmm I don't think we'll need him this turn for Let's just move him in two spaces. No need for smoke right now. I think we got this at the time for the moment. There's no machine guns. If there was a machine gun in there that had opened up, oh yeah, we would have smoked. We would have smoked for sure. Ah, let's just leave it. Leave it. Okay, that's it for the north, for the south. 
this was a little more difficult to pin out. Uh, and we definitely want to be a little more careful because these are our core units. Uh, which reminds me, let's... Yeah, let's spot with our core units this first turn before we move our motorcycle platoons. Yeah, so we'll get into spotting positions. So I think the best first text to get into is here. Yeah. Let's just get someone up there. Not good. Wow, that was not good. This is not good. That was not good. Okay, well, there's a need for smoke. There's a perfect... Okay, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get back down. How can we... There's no, That is not... For, leaving a guy up at, what is that, 6x range for a 40 millimeter... That's not okay. Uh, and just so you, let's just review that real quick. Little pause. Uh, here's one of my saved PDFs. See the soft attack at range six? It's a nine. That is not okay. 40 millimeters are a great unit, in my opinion. They reach out to range 10, and even at the 10th hex, they have a hit value of five there. That's. I don't know, you, one could argue that there's no bait hex for a 40 millimeter. It's, you just, you just take it. Um, but the, well, the weakness is the heart attack, if I remember correctly. Well, if you want to call it a weakness, you'd put a hard, you, you'd put a tank at range four and let it shoot at that, preferably something with decent armor. Okay, let's uh, study this for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, we can't even get it through. I hate to say this, but. Hmm. Huh. Okay, it looks like this thing can be circumvented by heading south, which the balance of our units can do. Perhaps should do. In fact, I think that's going to be what we do. I was I was trying to just now, I was trying to figure out how to where we should drop smokes to close with destroy this position, but this has got some teeth with that machine gun in there. Yeah, we can move our 88s up to pound it. Um, but we can't get out of range of the AA gun because our view range is hex range 10 and we don't have a 10th hex to even use. This is this village here would be the best place to set up our 88s to start pummeling it. But at hex range 9, we would be taking six firepower attacks, and I don't want my 88s to receive six firepower attacks. That's... Uh, a six firepower attack is... Oh, come on. Like uh, taking it off a rifle platoon at two hex range. It's the exact same thing in terms of fire effectiveness. So, nope. All right, so the next thing we're going to do Yeah, uh I think yeah, both of these hexes are worth occupying. Good luck for us. Here. Here. 
Okay, I'll put this machine gun here. Double up the platoons here. Okay, so the south already looks calmer. At least at first glance. We'll get the full report at the top of next turn. Uh, so yeah, if we come south and then hook north to get around this thing, which is what I really don't want it. Look at that. That's a good spot. All this open ground, anti-tank ditches. Yeah. It begs to be gone around. So we will oblige. Uh, but first, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we can take a look at. Let's not lose sight of the objective. Move one here. Move one here. Okay. Level up. Let's always keep an eye on this. Okay, and yeah, now I feel better about doing this. Hmm, double timing didn't really sound much. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're just, we're gonna go around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is interesting, the bloody 40 millimeter has cut the road here we would have to go what we will do yep we're going to take the motorcycle platoon all the way around the back side of the map which means it'll be out of they'll be out of place for probably two turns but i'm okay with that i just i'm not going to take get shot at going across a road Okay, let's move. thing to do for them at the moment. Okay, let's move our armor units up. Uh, I don't want to overload that hex. Actually, let's see, is there anything? No. Nothing we can't see, already see, so. Here. 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 It's going to get crowded down in Howley Corner. Hmm. We can go as far north as this hex here. So we just got to get through this five hex one, two. 5x choke point. Yeah. Let's pack these mortars up. That's out. These tanks. Stage them here. Stage all the armor there. Ah, uh, these guys will stay put for the time being. You're fixed. Uh, headquarters fixed, fixed, fixed. You are not fixed. Maybe for the 88s though. Ah, the 88s. Yeah, they're going to have to do the same thing as the motorcycles. The 
this way. Next to that 40 millimeter. Okay. And we'll just tag along. Okay. Oh yeah, he's... <laughs> hmm, we should probably... There's an argument to group these 88s together. Hmm, 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 Cycle through. Artillery. Yes, uh, let's blast everyone we can up in the northern. Okay, 150s will go for the further target. Two here, and the 75s will all go for the closer targets. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And that's it. We give the enemy its turn, because I don't want to call down air raids. Okay. Oof, look at those mines. Got us, bloody hell. Oh, come on. Ah, ah. we didn't just dis undisrupt either. And Dang it. Well, I'll take solace in knowing that there's no other way to get at these guys. We just have to, just by brute force, overrun them. So hopefully we disrupt them here. Good luck for us. Okay, let's move in. This guy. Here. Pursue. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oof. I was about to surround and destroy this guy, but we see a Daimler armored car here. Huh, he was accidentally seen by this guy. Cool. Um, okay. We have to assume there's some sort of a rifle or scout platoon. If it's a scout platoon, it's probably not something we want to move adjacent towards. So... Or move adjacent with... What a sticky situation this is. This is going to take a while to break down this defensive network. There's two SP worth of enemy. Do we want to risk our tank? Yes, we have a little operation we're going to conduct. Bye. Nope. <laughs> they repelled us. They disrupted us too. Ah, we did one damage to them, which is good, but they are still there. Wow, well done. I thought it was, you know, we we're equivalent in SP and they were in open ground. It was worth definitely worth trying to get rid of a, a unit. Alas. Okay. Next, uh, in the north. Hmm. Uh, 
I think eight. Oh yeah. Let's do that. Good. Fatigued, huh? Not fatigued. So we'll hold here at two hex range, and next turn we'll try to assault and take this position. Let's, uh, come on now. Shut these guys off. Um, since we were risking it going low on ammo anyway. Hmm, do we want to move up? Probably. Let's see. Yeah, let's move you here and here. Headquarters will move the headquarters platoon, I'm saying. We'll move here so we don't get the negative bonuses of being outside of its range. We'll move you up so we have better fire suppression. Next turn. Okay, so I feel pretty good about that. Let's send some tanks their way as well. Check what's two road hexes, unpaved, 10, 20, fire cost, 40, 50. Yep, we'll have seven points left over after this little maneuver, so we move here. Check our armored cars. Back. Then run. I didn't even check their armor attack. Oh, that's... I should have shot their soft to the troops. Look before you leave, Brian. A uh, much better soft attack value. Panzer 2F. Of course, that's... What was I... Yeah, that's, that was an infantry support tank. I know my history better than that. Oops. Okay. Um, this position... Hmm, in this situation, actually... Let's get a, yeah, let's move one space closer, but shut him off as well, since he's fatigued. The engineers, um, I'm not sure which route is best to go the south route. The north route look, makes more sense for just strictly assaulting the airfield, but we definitely need to clear all these enemies out, so. I don't see any reason to have engineers down here yet. No mines, no roadblocks, so we'll move. Let's move you here for the time. I did. Okay, there's some. Freaked me out, but okay, it's just friend carriers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, machine guns. Fire suppression. Excellent hit. Now the other guy. Come on. Well done. Well done, well done. Put you here. Moving the reserves up. Still no need for smoke. So we'll just keep walking him forward. One, two. moment the 88s will stay put okay now down south let's do a time check okay down south 
We see a roadblock, but no mines on the way to it. I want to check out what's in that town at three hex range, so... Perfect opportunity for an armored car. Oh my god. <laughs> Just hand moved it. it was dumb. Why was that dumb? If there was a two pounder in there, he'd have made post of all my of those armored cars. Jeez. Okay, uh, let's put some. Wait, can we. Yeah, that's clear. So let's move these Panzer 4Ds. Oh, and they can shoot still. No, 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 no. no. So do we want to bait at two hexes? Well. Might be something in this woods too. Well, yeah, we gotta move something, so we'll move you. We'll move. Yeah, we'll move you. Ah, yeah. Okay, we soaked it. Oh no, there's two. Ah, I did that to myself. That's okay. So it's a scout and a rifle? Ah, no effect. Let's it wasn't that dumb of a move, I don't think, but it was a little risky. I just wanted to get moving. And I don't know why I have time, but... Oh well, alright. What's the best... Let's take advantage of that as much as we can. Let's move the machine gun into... What we think will be the best hex. That one. For the time being. Let's stage... Yeah, perfect. You'll go here. Uh, yeah, we want to remove that, so let's send the engineers down the road. Uh, yeah. This, this is, look at uh, this crossroads. This is, a uh, the weight of the German army is now falling down upon them. Double time. Just gonna have to. What? All right. Yeah. Yeah. This is a roadblock or a, ro a traffic jam, but. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Remember that there are units in this village here. I'll take the opportunity now. Let's just move up. Since we're going the southern route. Close up some distance there. Okay, 88s. Or 
motorcycles. Yikes. Yikes. Orders. Cycle through. All units have been considered. Bring down the artillery. That is probably going to get torn up pretty good. There's enough units in striking position. This would it would be nice to have this suppressed, but the priority is here. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to tear this place apart. Everything is going in it. We've got, these are my units, and we are... We need to clear this roadblock. Engineers will take this roadblock down next turn. Artillery and troops will rip these guys out of their position. Crossroads will be open, and then we need to start uh, pushing everyone through this 5-hex spread as quickly as possible and getting into the objectives. So let's see. This is a very important moment. We're going to find out how much British artillery approximately there is and where it's deciding to concentrate. And hopefully we don't take too many casualties. Let's see. Look for the north. It's at least one gun. Three guns. Okay, not too bad this time. I was really nervous about that. Dang. This is the one I'm nervous about. Oh, all right. You know, that's pretty fair. I mean, for the maneuver I pulled down there and being shot at a total of six, having six fire attacks at two hex range by two fully capable British units to suffer one SP is well deserved. So, yeah, I'll take it. It's fine. Uh,. Okay, we get our guys are back up up here, very good. Die. Come on. Disrupted. We got one disrupted. Come on. Ugh, they're terrible. Oh, this one's not, um, fixed. And neither is the truck transport, so... Yeah, we need to get it, obviously we need to get it closer. I mean, these things are... All we did was one disruption. God. Jeez, uh, we didn't undisrupt this guy either, unfortunately. Okay, let's bait some shots. That's unfortunately going to be the MG. Near in a rifle platoon. Okay, let's go for the rifle platoon. Come on. Ah. Well, we can't approach with the armor units while that engineer, even though it's disrupted, is still there. But one thing we know definitely has to happen is this engineer needs to go start dismantling either the mines or this roadblock. And frankly, I want to get rid of the roadblock more than the mines. But we don't have to make that decision right now. Let's hold on that. Let's 
move these to here. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Nice hits. And the engineers. Oh, oh! Cut them apart. Good hits. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take advantage of any of that, frankly. That's too bad. Unless we want to risk our armor units. You know, they took four SP losses. That had to hurt. Let's keep shooting it out with them. Bye bye, engineers. Okay. No, 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 no. What's this? Two pounders? Oh my gosh, the elevation. The elevation saved us. Our tanks from being shot at by that. Okay, shoot them out. Excellent. Excellent. Wow, okay, so now it might be better if we remove the mines. Look how quickly the situation can change. Yeah, let's remove this. It's a one strength minefield, right? Yeah. There were troops. Oh, thank god I only lost one. Dang, that guy held his fire. Or I didn't lose one, I just got a retreat. Well, we are still held up down here. Damn it. Wow. What a goopy mess this is turning into. Okay, it's a 5 hex spread, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can still cross at the most northern point here without eating it from that 40 millimeter. Oh, that's awesome. My tanks are just at range 4 outside of the 40 millimeters anti-tank range. And we spotted a 2-pounder in there along with a rifle platoon as well as a machine gun. Boy, that is it. Look at all of that. Defend what a this is a yeah, we were never we were never meant to come through this way. So we're and it's encouraging. It means we're doing it right. So let's study the oh yeah, this whole road's covered. One, two, three, that's okay. Let's check this one more time. Yeah, move here, that's okay. Let's just move up here. And here and overload that hex. But just, again, that's okay, because it's can only be seen. It's out of range. Only be seen by that guy. Okay, let's move up here. to crush this pillbox. So we need to place our 88s. The best place is right here. One, two, three. Yeah, right there because it's at it's outside the range of the two pounders soft attack if I can recall. Let's double check. Two pounder. Yeah, it's got a range of three on both soft and hard. It's almost useless as a soft attack unit which is Understandable. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk my 88s. Let's get them. Let's get them moving. Two, three. And I don't want to risk it. So long as those two pounders are there. 
All I'm going to do is stage my armor. So we'll stage the armor units. Back here. Let's move on space and I'm going to prime a need for a smoke next turn. Uh, yeah, let's move the headquarters up. Now let's get the motorcycle platoons in here for sure. Five millimeter mountain gun. Okay. That's it for the south. <laughs> God, look how target dense this is. But I'm okay with doing this for a couple reasons. One, most of these units are not within view, or I think all. No, most. Yeah. Only this group here can be seen currently, and the artillery was falling up north, so I'm comfortable doing that because of the, for those reasons. Okay. Now, we need to bait some shots. I think you're the best to do it. Let's go ahead and shoot it, actually. Hmm, you're in the smoke, though. Let's move. No, let's shoot you. Um, again, come on. Come on, shoot me. There we go. Yes! Lovely. Okay. I don't like this, but there's really no better way to do it. Move you here. Now we know it's there. All right, let's try that overrun one more time. Goodbye. And remembering that these scout platoons have a armor attack of three, heart attack, I should say, of three, we will not be moving adjacent with armor units to soak shots. Let's try to disrupt him. Their troops. Yes. Um. Will he stay disrupted? That's always a different kind of question. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna have to move him back. I thought I could do a hit and run, but I think flipping the map here. Yeah, there's some elevation stuff going on here. There are 35 T's. What are your capabilities? Six on a hard attack. Looks like a five on a soft adjacent. So let's move you adjacent. Oh, what was I thinking? Why did I just do that? Ah, oh, that was dumb and lucky. <laughs> I got focused on the hit and run. Huh. Well, he's going to eat it from the 40 millimeters now. Uh, is this a position... Yeah, we might have to just bypass this position since it's under observation by that. I, I don't know why I didn't catch that. Well, we definitely need to destroy this guy, so... Excuse me. Hmm. So we can get around him, but it's going to hurt. Let's 
start up here. All right. Scout platoon. Yeah, so we'll use you to suppress and draw fire. There we go. That was the main one. Now we move you here. Shoot this guy. And back. Not good. Let's move you guys here. Try one more ch shot at suppressing. That'll work. Now we move you to here. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Armor units in a village, but still, it, we need to get... Can we bring in the 88? Sort of, kind of, yeah. Probably won't be able to shoot, though. Let's just try an, a general assault. Oh, yes! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was awesome. Gutted him. 30 points in. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, what can you see? You can't see that heck, so... Yeah. Spread out as much as we can. Just hope the random artillery that's surely going to plaster this area. Now, now I'm glad I didn't move those 88s in. It's going to be a lot of random shells um, since they don't have eyes on the targets they will have called on. Okay, so this guy's disrupted. This guy's ready to assault that guy. I think we'll just do a push. I can't help myself. He's only one strength point. DP's three. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this risk. Here we go. Double time. But first, let's make sure we can do it. Nope. God, I, God, I hate trenches. Ah. Damn it. Shoot him out. I'm screwing this up so bad. Wow. Wow. Let's just take this risk. Yeah. Aim st armor straight on this guy and he'll definitely go down next turn. Nah. Here. And control your fire. Until the smoke comes off. Right, we committed this reserve the reserve platoon down here, but the company down here, but we're actually gonna be sort of driving through this. Woods Village area, just north of Costin's farm. So, yeah, let's just sort of push him that way. Yeah, no need for smoke still. Let's just keep it moving. Alright, now we should probably... Uh, still looks pretty good. I'll wait one more turn. Then we'll move them. Alright, I think we're good. And this will probably be it for this video. Oh, you need to fall back. Okay. I want to stay there for the morale benefit. Yeah. I 
that's it. Let's give the enemy oh no, artillery. Oof, almost made a huge mistake. So yeah, nothing to do there. And the artillery, the next major fighting position to demolish is this one. So let's start softening them up. Let's throw everything we can at them. And give the enemy its turn. Let's gloss this over. No isolated valuable units for air attack. Are there? No. Okay, enemy. Enemy. Wild shot number one. Two. Three. Look how close that came. Good. Looks like one of their guns was out of supply this turn. Him. Oh. Well, I take solace in knowing it's just one tank. It was just a single SP. Made oh. it so that the other units were not going to disrupt or be attacked by that guy, so. We'll get him this turn for sure. One disrupted. The other one's disrupted. One reduced by one. Damn useless things. Okay, let's check the time. Yeah, one hour seven. You know, I've got an axe to grind against this guy, so just for giggles, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give this guy what for. Distraction shot complete. Well, it's not that easy. <laughs> How are we doing this? Uh, one infantry platoon moves to... Yeah, this guy. You will double time. What? <sighs> How annoying. All right. It's okay. We I got this. Uh you will shoot. Shoot this guy. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to bait these shots. What? Should have should have got something. Come on. All right, let's keep it up. Hey, they're all disrupted. <laughs> Nothing? All right, I can't believe I'm doing this, but dang, well played, AI, well played. Unfortunately, you must go here. How annoying was that, right? Okay, now you move here. Which had its own risks. And now you can assault. Goodbye. Since we moved out here, let's take a shot at this Dammler. Good. Uh-oh. Uh. 
I screwed myself. Oh, God. I can't move back anywhere safe. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, this one's not, this is not good either. What can we do? I just want to solve through this right now while we... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Okay, we can move you here. A desperate bid to cause another casualty. Retreat. Now I'm reloading the hex. And we move here. Of course, to avoid being smacked by the home guard. That's it. That's the best we can do. We'll remove the enemy there. Uh, we just are going to have to expose ourselves to these scouts, and if they undisrupt, that's a problem. If they stay disrupted, not a problem. In fact, if they stay disrupted and nothing happens, or just if nothing happens, this tank will be able to clock off two good armor... Well, after we distract his fire, this guy's scout platoon's fire from below, we'll be able to fire this guy twice at armor units, which it specializes in, and it could destroy the Damler and the Bren carrier. Anyway, put a teeny tiny little dent in our on our way to the 750. But again, I'm okay with this. Uh, there's going to be a t there's going to be a definite cushion, and a lot of our time is going to be spent closing on the objectives because of the space cushion here. So that's normal. So yeah. Uh, a little bit longer of a video, but I just really wanted to get rid of this little nut here or put a dent in this position. So thanks for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye-bye.